day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help in preparing for the private pilot checkride in under 5 minutes a day for free. Today's video covers required equipment for day and night VFR operations. For 91205 lists the equipment requirements for day VFR operations as follows. We'll use the acronym A Tomato Flames with tomato spelled with an extra E at the end. Anti-collision lights for aircraft certificated past March 11, 1996. Tachometer. Oil pressure gauge for each engine using a pressure system. Manifold pressure gauge for each altitude engine. Think turbocharge, supercharge, etc. Or a variable pitch prop. Airspeed indicator. Temperature gauge for each liquid-cooled engine. These are rarely found in aircraft now. Oil temperature gauge for each air-cooled engine. Emergency equipment. This applies to aircraft for hire over water beyond the safe gliding distance from shore. These aircraft must have on board approved flotation gear readily available to each occupant of the aircraft and at least one pyrotechnic signaling device. Additionally, one should consider bringing flashlights at night and water in hot weather or warm clothes in cold weather. Fuel quantity indicator for each tank. Landing gear position indicator. This only applies to aircraft fixed with a retractable landing gear. Altimeter. Magnetic Direction Indicator, or Compass, Emergency Locator Transmitter, and Safety Belts. FAR 91205 lists the equipment requirements at night as well. Using the acronym FLAPS, we have Fuses. If your aircraft is equipped with circuit breakers, you will not need fuses. Circuit breakers are essentially reusable fuses. Landing Light for Aircraft for Hire. Anti-collision lights mentioned during the daytime requirements as well. Position lights, sometimes referred to as nav lights, these must be activated from sunset to sunrise. Source of electrical energy for all installed electronic and radio equipment, typically an engine-driven alternator. In addition to the FLAPS acronym, everything from the A Tomato Flames acronym is required as well. On top of everything mentioned in FAR 91205, one may want to think about the operational requirements based on the class of airspace they may be flying in. This concludes today's video covering required aircraft equipment for VFR operations. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. If you found it helpful, I hope that you may like, leave some feedback, subscribe, or share with somebody else who may find it helpful. Safe flying.